The Kurdish language is a beautiful language which we need to take care of and protect. If you want to know more about the Kurdish language and its dialects, we have a video about it, so don't forget to check that out. Before we start, don't forget to follow us on Instagram. We really appreciate all the support that you fans are giving us, and without your support, we can't keep on with our work. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and comment down below. Now, we know that we haven't uploaded any new language episodes until now, but be sure to check out the previous three episodes. I will link them in the description box below. And also, visit our website everythingaboutkurdistan.com where you can find all the lessons and word lists so that you can go back and train on every word that we have gone through in previous episodes. Now, in this language episode, there will be a bunch of new words to learn. The thing with these words is that they are often exchanged by Kurds to its Arabic words. Now, we will make a similar video about Turkish words that are used in the Kurdish language, but for this episode, we're gonna start with those words that Kurds mistakenly use that really are Arabic, and we're gonna also mention the real Kurdish word for it. And people might think, does it really matter which word you use? But yes, it does. If not for this generation, the next one will use even more non-Kurdish words. And slowly, slowly, we won't even have our own language left. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. For example, the word qitar, which in Arabic means train. I mean, how many Kurds out there uses word qitar? Try to never use that word. In Kurdish, train is shamanafer. It is probably so that many of you have heard the word shamanafer and many of you haven't. The word qitar is commonly used in Bashuri Kurdistan, and the word shamanafer is used in other parts of Kurdistan. Now, in my case, a Kurd from Bashur, I have always used qitar, but the last 2-3 years, I've really made an effort to only use shamanafer, and it is when you do this effort as you can actually change. So, I know it can be hard in the beginning, but really try to use shamanafer and when someone says qitar to you, correct him. Tell him to use the word shamanafer, the real Kurdish word. Now, there is another word that is sayara, which in Arabic means car. In Kurdish we say trumbil or automobil. We're just gonna keep on with different words of transports. The word tayara, which in Arabic means airplane, has a Kurdish word which is froka. Remember, froka. And last, we have balam which in Arabic means boat. And the Kurdish word for this is kashti. Let's go through them again. Shamanafer, train. Trombil, automobile, car. Froka, airplane. Kashti, boat. So, shamanafer, trombil, froka, kashti. Further on, we have a lot of Arabic words when we talk about time. For example, sa'at which in Arabic means clock. Let me ask you, have you ever heard of the word kat jmir? Kat, which means time, and jmir, which means count. So, counting time. Kat jmir. The word clock is kat jmir and not sa'at. This is another typical word that I've always used in my life. But as I said, two or three years ago, I really made this effort. And today I say kat jmir chanda. I have stopped to say Sa'at Chanda. It might sound like a smaller change for you, but it really does matter. Let's keep on. The word Daqa, which is minute in Arabic, becomes Khulek in Kurdish. Khulek. So, minute is Khulek. Saniya is the word for second in Arabic, and the Kurdish word is Chirka. Now, let's go through them one more time. Clock, Kachmir. Minute, khulek. Second, chirka. Another word that I actually didn't know about this until a few months ago, but the word serih, 
means fast in Arabic. And in Kurdish, I've always thought this was synonyms. I didn't know that one was Arabic and one was Kurdish. But in Kurdish, we say khaira. So, sereh means fast in Arabic. And the word khaira is fast in Kurdish. Khaira. Let's try and see if you know how you say almost in Kurdish. How would you say almost in Kurdish? Almost in Kurdish is nizike. Nizike. But many Kurds use the word taqriban. Taqriban is Arabic and shouldn't be used in the Kurdish language. So remember, nizike. Let's go through them again. Sarih means fast in Arabic. The word is khaira. Khaira. Taqriban is almost in Arabic. The word is nizike. Nizike. Let's keep on by checking some furniture and tools which Kurds often use the Arabic word for. We have qalam, which is the Arabic word for pen. In Kurdish we say penuz. The word bab is door in Arabic. In Kurdish we say derga. The word hamam is the Arabic word for bathroom. In Kurdish we say germaw. We have bahr, the Arabic word for sea. And in Kurdish we say derya. Another Arabic word that are often used in Kurdish is غلط. The real Kurdish word is hala. So, penuz, pen, derga, door, germa, bathroom, derya, sea, hala, wrong. We have a lot of more words to go through, so let's just keep on going. Another popular word in Kurdish that really are Arabic is Mushkila. Now, Mushkila in Arabic means problem. And in Kurdish, we use the word Kesha. This is another word that I didn't know about until recently. Kesha. And it is even easier to say than Mushkila. So, try really to stop saying words like Mushkila and use the word Kesha. Now, another word that there has been a lot of discussions around is the word for school, which in Arabic is maktab. The right Kurdish word is khwendenga. And there is even discussions about to use qutab khana. For those who argue about the word qutab khana, there is one side who says that qutab comes from the Arabic word of book, which is kteb. And the other side says that no, it comes from the word qutabi, which is student. I'm not exactly sure which side that is correct, but to be on the right side, just use the word khwendenga. Kutabkhana can be a synonym, it can also be Arabic, I don't know, but let's just go on with khwendenga. As we are talking about school, another word used here is the Arabic word talaba, the word for student. Now I just said kutabi for student. That is one word, I don't know if it's Arabic as I said, but the Kurdish word for student is khwendkar. Of course, in school, the students sometimes do school tests. In Arabic, it's imtihan. And in Kurdish, taqir kirnawa. Taqir kirnawa. The list can be long. Let's just keep on going. How do you say towel in Kurdish? Well, in Arabic, it's khawli. And even today, I sometimes make the mistake and use the word khawli. But khawli is Arabic. The Kurdish word is pishtamar. Stairs, qadirma. In Kurdish, we say peplikana. Now, how do you say wait? This is a word I've always used in Kurdish. And I've heard the Arabic word, but I never used it before. So, it was just normal for me to just keep the Kurdish word. But I know that many of you use the Arabic word. So, in Kurdish, we say chaware for wait. Chaware. Now, the Arabic word that are used by some Kurds is intizar. And that is Arabic, so let's just forget about that. Erase that from your memory. Chaware. In the last episode, we went through the works. So I'm sure if you have gone through our last episodes and if you have trained enough, you should know about this word. But in Kurdish, court is dargar and lawyer is parezir. But how do you say it in Arabic? There is two words that are often used in Kurdish and that is mahkama and muhami. Now, Mahkama and Muhami is commonly used in Kurdish but are pure Arabic. So use Dadgar and Parazir. Meeting, Mu'id. In Kurdish we say Didar. God bless you. This is also a word that is commonly used in Kurdish. I often hear people say Khair. 
but Khair is Arabic. Let's just say the most beautiful Kurdish word of them all, Bshi. Her Bshit, Bshit. That is Kurdish and it's for God bless you. Or we can also translate it as long live, but don't use the word Khair at least. Now, picture. I love this Kurdish word for it. And sometimes I don't understand why I've used the Arabic word. The Arabic word for picture is Rasam. But I don't understand why I've used that word when we have this beautiful Kurdish word. Wena. The Kurdish word for picture is Wena. One word that I know every Kurd knows about due to when you make your mom angry and so on is the word for slippers. The Arabic word for it is Na'al. And in Kurdish we simply say Serpai. I have to mention it one more time. It's a lot of words. Maybe you feel like I don't have the time to go through all of these or I don't have the time to learn all of these or adjust myself to all of these. But at least take some of them. Take five words and try to use them for a month. Make them a part of your life. Take your time. You have your whole life. And the important thing is that you pass these words to the next generation so that they don't learn the Arabic words. I mean, as we can see, Bashur is pretty much liberated. Rojavai is pretty much liberated. The reason that we use these Arabic words is due to that we have been under Arabic control with Arabic soldiers controlling our cities. So those times are pretty much over, I hope at least. If we can pass on this Kurdish word to the next generation, we might never again be needed to have this conversation again because the Arabic words will perhaps be removed from our language. So let's keep on. How do you say principle? In Arabic, it's mudir. In Kurdish, we say bare wa bar. Hello, salam, slav. Weather, joe. In Kurdish, we say keshu hawa. What about operation? Emaliyat. In Kurdish, we say neshtergeri. How many times have you heard your father or mother say, don't bother me, I'm listening to the news, and then they use the word ikhbar. In Kurdish, we say dangubas, and dangubas is so much more beautiful if you talk in a Kurdish perspective. So why use the word ikhbar? That is much harder to say. Dangubas. Bird. In Arabic, it's teir. In Kurdish, it's balanda. Shoes. Qonara. Pelau. Pelau. Sorry. In Arabic, afu. In Kurdish, we say babura. There is, without a doubt, a lot of more Arabic words that the Kurds uses in their language. Let's go through all of them one more time. Shamanafer, train. Trombil, car. Froka, airplane. Kashti, boat. Kajmir, clock. Khulek, minute. Chirka, second. Khera, fast. Nizike, almost. Penus, pen. Derga, door. Gerem Ao, bathroom. Derya, sea. Hala, wrong. Kesha, problem. Khwendenga, school. Khwendkar, student. Takir Kirnawa, test. Pishtamar, towel. Pepilkana, stairs. Chaware, wait. Dadgar, court. Parezer, Lawyer, Tidar, meeting, Bji, God bless you, Wena, picture, Serpai, slippers, Barewabar, principal, Slav, hello, Keshu Hawa, weather, Nishtegeri, operation, Dengulbas, news, Balanda, bird, Pelau, shoes, Babure, sorry. There is, without doubt, a lot of more Arabic words that the Kurds use in their language. It is of vital importance that we start to use the Kurdish words again in all cases, and of course, learn the new generations by the new words 
or within 50 years or so, maybe the Kurdish words will be forgotten. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to leave a like if you want another episode of Turkish used in our Kurdish language. And as usual, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Comment down below if we have forgotten any Arabic words. Let's go on with days two. And don't forget to like this video, follow us on Instagram and keep a look out to the next video.